that's that's it. It's over. That's a wrap. It's done. Uh, Justin Houston is officially not coming back. He ain't got somebody else on. Board. That's it. Uh, he is headed to the Carolina Panthers to go help usher in their new regime, their new franchise quarterback, uh, rookie quarterback, and that's that. It's over. Um, it, I know a, most Ravens fans, a lot of us, really just assume that, oh yeah, Ravens going to bring back Justin Houston again. Why wouldn't they? Uh, just like last year. We all assumed that they were going to bring him back last year, and they brought him right back. So we just thought it was going to be just the same thing, but it never ended up happening. And I don't know if... Uh, I'm not sure what the interest level was in him, if if at all. Because when you think about it, it's the same thing with uh, Marcus Peters, too. Marcus Peters and Justin Houston, Ravens had the opportunity to bring both of them back for a long time. Like, think about it. Justin Houston just signed with the Panthers, and it's the middle, well, it's the beginning of August. So he was on a one-year deal last year. That deal expired in March. So they had March, April, May, June, July, and now it's August, and they ain't bring him back. So you got to wonder if they even really wanted him back. Now, we know with Marcus Peters, obviously a much different story, but the Ravens are like, no, no thanks, because they signed Rocky Scene for just pretty much the same deal that Marcus Peters ended up getting a couple months later uh, from the Raiders, which was a, a, a few, about a week and a half ago. Um, so you feel like they just they didn't want to bring him back in with Justin Houston, like, you would have really thought, like, especially with Tyus Bowser, he's still hurt. And they play the position differently, obviously. Well, they play different positions. But um, when you think about the pass rush, Tyus Bowser was hurt. Um, Adafi away, still waiting. David Ajabo, a lot of unknown there. Showing some promise, but still a lot of unknown there. Um, then just rookie, it's just, it's, it's so much unknown uh, at the pa at pass rush for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but... They've been passing on Justin Houston all summer, and it continues. And then I guess Justin Houston was like, you know what, man? I ain't waiting for y'all no more. I'm, I'm tired of waiting for y'all, man. I'm out of here. Um, but with Justin Houston, I feel like uh, he'll be missed. Um, for Obviously for his on-field production, because that, that's super important to be productive. Um, but for his leadership as well. Because with Justin Houston, uh, the Ravens, they got a, a leader in him. And what I mean when I say that, he was somebody that... We always heard about training the younger guys. I remember um, just always hearing about him taking Adafi away under his wing and just really trying to show him different things and different techniques and whatnot. Like they called him Yoda. And they called him that for a reason because he was a leader and he had a whole lot of knowledge. And see, the thing about him that I appreciate, and you really appreciate this with anybody, um, he, had, he obviously got plenty of knowledge on the game of football. He'd been playing for a long time and has been very productive throughout his career. Um, but he didn't try to gatekeep it. Because there could be some people that try to gatekeep you, like, oh, no, I'm keeping this all for me. I ain't sharing this with nobody, but Justin Houston ain't do none of that. So that was nice to always hear about stuff like that. Uh, and then when you think about another thing, Ravens losing a lot of leadership this offseason. They, they, they're they losing a lot of leadership this offseason because a lot of veteran leadership on the defensive side of the ball. We talked about Marcus Peters already. He's gone. He obviously ain't coming back. Uh, Justin Houston, Yoda, he's gone now, officially. He ain't coming back. But then Calais Campbell, too. Calais Campbell's out of there. So with Calais Campbell being gone, too, like that that's a lot of veteran leadership gone, like, out of there. And, of course, you got guys that, that can take over, like you got a Roquan Smith as a big addition. You still got Michael Pierce there. Hopefully uh, he'll be healthy this year so he could really um, make a big impact on this Ravens defensive line. Um, you got Marlon Humphrey who's been a lot more vocal recently. He started off when he was younger, he was a lot more quiet, but he now he don't stop talking. Uh, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. He be having his takes and whatnot, but Mar Marlon Humphrey could be somebody that could be a leader as well. So Ravens definitely got some options, but they certainly lost some, uh, some significant leadership on that defensive side uh, of the ball. Uh, so we'll see what type of impact it has. But with Justin Houston, um, he was solid on the Ravens, man. He was solid. He came through, uh, made his mark, made his presence be known. And with, with him, I, I just always remember just thinking back. Like, obviously, he, he was with the Chiefs before, but then uh, before he went to the Colts. Remember, Ravens were interested in Justin Houston back then. They wanted Justin Houston back then, but it obviously didn't work out uh, But because he ended up choosing the Colts. And with Ravens, I get they really love Justin Houston, boy, because 
like two years after that. Two years after he ended up choosing the Colts over them, two years later they circle back around and they end up signing Justin Houston. Um, so he was he was solid for the Ravens, man. He did his thing. Um, but now Ravens, they're gonna have to get his production and more from somewhere else. Uh, and this this gonna be a big, big, big season for the youth on defense. Because obviously you got some cornerstone pieces like you got Marcus Williams, baller, you got Roquan Smith, ball, you got Marlon Humphrey, ball, you got Kyle Hamilton, young baller, but with the defense, I feel like um it's gonna be a, a big youth movement on that side of the ball. Uh, so they're going to be counting on a lot of young guys to really step up in a big way. Guys like Travis Jones, Justin Matter, BK in contract year, Broderick Washington in contract year, Patrick Queen in contract year, uh, cornerbacks, Rocky Singh, we'll see what happens with him, but as far as cornerbacks outside of him, you got uh, Jalen Armour Davis. There's been a lot of good stuff. We've been hearing about him. Pepe, we just every, it's a lot of youth, man. Big youth movement on defense. That's going to be a lot that's going to be asked to them. Adafi away, um, David Ajabo, and we've just been talking about those two extensively uh, this offseason because they're going to have a big role, man. They're going to have a, a big role. And it's looking like those are going to be, at least right now, those are going to be the Ravens guys as pass rushers. That's what it's looking like. So hopefully they can bring out the best of each in each other. Um, Chuck Smith, hopefully he can bring out the best in them too and, and really just help Adafi away, especially turn that corner and just really help David Ajabo have his official uh, welcome to the NFL. Well, he he need to be actually showing people like, hey, I'm in the NFL. We don't want him to have a welcome to the NFL moment. I mean, he's going to have some, but we want him to be showing people like, hey, I'm in the NFL. Um, but it's exciting, man. It's, ex it's exciting to think about. It's exciting to think about uh, just all the possibilities, uh, what could happen with these Ravens, what could happen with um, with the pass rush, man. And now we get uh, a bit more clarity uh, on the Ravens' plan, in a sense, because uh, they could still sign somebody, but they haven't. They haven't. They've been interested in some guys, though, so that, I think that's telling because, remember, they were interested in uh, in Dwayne Smoot. Um, so, yeah, that, that there was that. Uh, and I know there was somebody else that they were interested in, but I just I can't remember who it was off the top of my head. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, this season is a huge one. I mean, you can say that about really every season, really. But this season is a huge one because Ravens, they, they put a lot of their chips all the way in. Um, there's some areas where we wish they could put in the chips a little bit more, but, hey, they're they, they going to figure it out eventually. Well, hopefully they will. And, and everything will uh, end up working itself out. So, anyway, shout-out to Justin Houston. Shout-out to Marcus Peters. Shout-out to Clayus Campbell. Shout-out to the, the, the once Ravens veterans who made a big impact both on and off the field. Um, their presence was felt and their presence was known, but now they are no longer with the Baltimore Ravens. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like Marcus Peters, just like Calais Campbell, and now officially just like Justin Houston is when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, I'm out.